today on Monkey and Mezzanine, um, I'm going to show you a couple of the tugs that we have. Um, we got a tug rope and just a regular old double handle tug, and boy, they really want it right now. So, <laughs> um, somebody was asking me about how how to keep from getting bit when you're playing with the tugs, and I'll tell you right now, if they're a pup, their coordination, their eyesight, and their mouth are not working well together right now. So you're you're going to get that attentional nip um, until they really learn it. Um, if you've been doing a lot of ah, 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 no, if you've been if you've been uh, doing a lot of target practicing, you know the hand targeting. Um, I don't know if it's really a thing or not. Um, in my experience, um, they usually try to go closest to my hand because you know your hand's supposed to be the safe spot. So um, I'm gonna try to show you the right way, or not the right way. I guess just the the way of trying to do it the right way I guess you could say um, just like I said I'm not a professional but I've been nipped more than my fair share between you know all the dogs that I've raised in my life and these guys right here this little part right here this part right here is quick it's fast and it starts way before this thing part but you even starts countering anything that's going on so um, I'm going to get it out here. They're both going to go crazy on me. It's going to look out of control, but that's okay because it's just a video and we're not training. It's just a video to show you, kind of give you an idea. Um, I know there's thousands of videos out here showing you how to do this and um, mine's just the shortcut way of doing things. I, I like to find the shortcut and the easiest way for just anybody to do it without having to watch these training videos that get cut off here and start back up here. I mean, I'm gonna be real about it. My dogs will get out of control. I will have to correct them and stuff like that. And, um, but on the most part, they're usually really, really good about just keeping in, keeping their mind focused on what we're doing. So um, a lot of times when they're both out here at the same time, I have that competition thing going on. So that's that's the part that I have the most problem with is competition because they both want to be involved. They both want to do this because they got that drive to do it. So I know Monkey's going to be the right on it and I know Mezzakin's going to get on it too. So we're going to probably going to wind up separating them just so I can get through this video real quick. So hold on just a second. Let me grab the two tugs and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I went and got the tugs and now I got all of them here. Even Tank. Huh, big dog. Um, this is the rope I was talking about. It's one of the tugs you can get anywhere. I mean, just anywhere. Even if you have old rope at home, you can tie the knots and make your own. This is probably about what? A little over a foot. And it's great because it's got the handles out here that you can hold on to so you can target your bite. And yes, I do suggest if your puppy's coming in wrong, you know, adjust the rope so, you know, and continue to work it. Um, after a while, after the coordination and stuff like that, they gain that coordination and they'll start focusing more and more and then you can start bringing your grip in more and more until you can get right there to where it's just perfect muzzle, muzzle fit for them to just clamp onto. Uh, the second one is the one I got off of Amazon. It's a cheap, inexpensive tug. Um, I didn't expect it to last as long as it did, so uh, <coughs> I cannot remember the name of the brand, but I'll look it up later. And it actually is held up pretty good, especially with these two. They get the tug of war on it when I uh, throw it as a reward. But again, you got the handles that'll go way out here and you can work your way in and work your way in until you get into that perfect muzzle bite. Um, like I said, it's really hard to get both of them to focus because they're, they're always in competition. They always have that drive to want to work it and stuff like that. So when it comes to the actual training, it's easier to do, of course, one-on-one -on -one than it is with two-on-one. Um, today, it's just a video. We're not in train mode right now. Um, it's just something to play with. We've been playing with it off and on between the video because uh, I got attacked when I came out of the house with him. So, uh, if we can, I'll get Monkey over here. Monkey here. No, here. Sit. And as you can tell, he's, he's already focused and I got the handles out here. Yes. Good. Out. Mezzanine out. And then you can fold those handles under so you got them underneath there. Yes. Good. Out. Good. Mezzanine. Yes. Good. Out. <laughs> you 
covered. <laughs> anyway, and that's uh, some of the easiest ways. It's cheap and expensive way. Um, it's not the professional way, but it works really well. Like I said, with puppies, they nip. They don't mean to. It's an accident. And <coughs> until they get their mind and their mouth coordinated to work as one, you're going to get those occasional nips. You're still going to get that miss because of all your target training that you've been doing with your hand. Ah, plucks. All the target training you've been doing with your hand, the puppy is used to your hand being the safe thing. So it will still probably go for your hand, but that's the best part because you can readjust it as the puppy's coming in. So you can readjust it to where they're hitting at. At first, it's going to be a little weird to them because it's a little thick and it's a little big. So at first, it's going to be a little weird and you're going to have to play and you know taunt them a little bit to get them to bite at it and it's usually really easy to get them to start working with it. ah broke it plots see so anyway you can also use it as a reward you can use it as a fetch toy i would not suggest leaving this down so they can just chew and gnaw on it because like i said it's not it's not supposed to be meant for that it's supposed to you know Teach them how to target a little bit better and as you notice you can get in there pretty close like you yes and it's good no nope. and then for a reward for doing a good job because i mean you can hit it yes out good and you can reward them for that you know and just give them a throw and now these two are going to sit there and fight and argue and they can look like an idiot trying to get it back from them but it's all right because like i said we're not training it's just a video to kind of give you a cheap inexpensive shortcut way of how to do this without drawing too much blood from yourself bring it monkey bring it mezzanine bring it see they're all tied up because they've been wanting to do this all morning bring it good out good plus Day. so that's the cheap inexpensive way this one is cheaper more inexpensive than the actual tug but either or will work the exact same but since i have this out here which they don't get to play with a lot they're going to ignore this one but uh still the same concept of how to work the rope as you would the tag you just hold on the, the balls right here and you can direct it Pretty soon you can get yourself worked into that tight fight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. See? Neither one of them like this way. Yes. <laughs> Out. That's game. Yes. Good. Good. Go. And that's it. That's my shortcut. That's my cheap and expensive way of doing it. No professional dog trainers, no professional name brands, no nothing. It's cheap and inexpensive, and excuse me, inexpensive way to have fun with your dogs and let them play and tug and all that stuff. Bring it. Good. Out. Ah. Plucks. Plucks. Told you twice. I know we're not training, right? Anyway, that's our video for today, and hopefully you uh, can get a good experience out of taking that shortcut. I know there's a lot of videos out there with a lot of professionals that will teach you different things, but you know, I'm not I'm not claiming to be a professional. I'm just claiming to be the cheapskate shortcut to help you train your dogs in a little cheaper, a little easier, and to you know make them yours instead of what people think they're designed for and all that other stuff. <laughs> hey look he's breathing heavy so anyway hopefully this helps like subscribe leave a comment in the bottom if it helps you out if it works out for you um, the less blood you can get drawn the less scrapes on your fingers and hands that you can get drawn from your puppy by just using these two simple little things to target them with uh, in the long run you'll have a, a dog that will just bite right where you want them to bite so and tugs always a fun fun thing for them to do they love to fight and tag and all that other stuff go and that's the way it goes so anyway thanks and hopefully this helps somebody